हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विभु गोयल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज भरतपुर होप यू पीपल रिमेंबर इन द लास्ट टू थ्री लेक्चर्स वी हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द फॉर्मी लेवल हाउ इट गिव्स अस द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑक्यूपेंसी ऑफ एन अवेलेबल एनर्जी स्टेट एट एप्सोलू टेम्परेचर टी एंड बट आर डी जनरेट सेमी कंडक्टर्स वेर इन इफ यू कंटिन्यू टू डॉप ए मटीरियल ऑफ आइदर टाइप how fermi level that uh, exist within the band if it is of donor type impurity the fermi level lies within the conduction band and if it is of uh, p type impurity say acceptor impurity then it lies within the valence band now this concept of de uh, degenerate semiconductors and uh, this junctions this all we are going to uh, utilize in tunnel diode now to have a basic Uh, understanding of a tunnel diode we must have some knowledge about junctions how the band diagram operates in junctions and what is contact potential and all so today uh, in a lecture or two we will we will have a basic understanding of the junctions and then we will shift our uh, discussion towards the tunnel diode now what is a junction and uh, how pn junction is formed and uh, what sort of uh, Uh, how contact contact potential is formed and all this we are going to understand in detail today so basically we are focusing on the mathematical and qualitative understanding of the junctions so uh, what we have we have assuming here the step junction why step junction uh, we are assuming the uniform p doping on the one side and uh, uniform n doping on the other side we are not assuming any kind of uh, graded junctions or you can say diffuse junctions because diffuse junctions are basically graded in nature and that and they varies over a Uh, significant distance on either side of the junction so we are uh, limited our discussion on the step junction itself and moreover we are assuming the uh, one dimensional current flow uh, and uh, whatever be the case we are discussing we are discussing each and every case only at equilibrium equilibrium is there is no sort of uh, no sort of external excitation and there is no net current flow in the uh, device so no no, no net current means all current will be cancelled by the electron current and whether it is of diffusion type or drift type this we will understand in detail so we are assuming uh, step junction where on we have uh, uniform p doping on the one side of a sharp junction and uniform n doping on the other side now if it is of p type material obviously its band diagram um, would be somewhat like this conduction band valence band they are separated by some band gap because uh, it has majority of p type carriers which are of acceptor level so obviously the fermi level lies below the intrinsic level so somewhere here we have intrinsic level so fermi level lies near the valence band below the intrinsic level now this is of n type impurity so donor type impurities are there if donor type impurities are there so uh, this is the conduction band and valence band somewhat uh, they have a band gap with e subscript g and uh, obviously because level uh, impurities are of donor nature so fermi level lies well above the intrinsic level or we can say several kt below the uh, conduction band kt means uh, like uh, uh, whatever whatever be this particular gap hope you remember in fermi level we have discussed this particular concept in detail so this is about the p type and this is about the n type these are uh, two materials now to make them a junction we will brought them together so to understand uh, how we are making them uh, how to brought them together before that we'll have a basic uh, understanding of the current flow within this particle as well as current flow now this is p type this is a p type material and this is of n type material so we'll come here so this is of uh, say p type material this is n type material in p type uh, from p to n we need to analyze now holes will because this is majority of holes this is majority of electrons so holes will diffuse from p to n so this is the particle flow now current uh, is always in the direction of holes or opposite in the direction of electrons now hole diffusion we will understand holes will diffuse from p to n so particle flow particles means holes holes will diffuse from p to n how about the current current would be in the same direction so that's why current from p to n so this is p type don't confuse this p type with n type with this one this p type is basically resembling this one n type is resembles this one this uh, this particular block is representing the particle flow uh, this particular this block is representing the current flow so particles from p to n holes will diffuse from p to n electrons uh, sorry current will diffuse from uh, p to n itself uh, because it in the direction of holes how about the electrons electrons will diffuse from n to p because this has majority of electrons here they are in minority so electrons will diffuse from n to p now electrons will diffuse from n to p so obviously current is always opposite to the direction of electrons so electron diffusion from n to p particle flow current will diffuse from 
P two n. Now how about the old drift? Now drift is always opposite to the diffusion. So drift because diffusion is from P two n, so drift will be from n to P. Because because current is always in the direction of holes, so current will always uh, current is in the from n to P in case of holes drift. Now electron drift. Electron is opposite to the direction of electron diffusion. So electron drift is opposite to the direction of electron diffusion. That's why electron drift would be from P to N. Now electron drift would be from P to N. Then ele um, electron current drift, current drift would be from N to P because it has to be opposite to this particular particle flow. Now if we combine all these four components of the current, what are those four components? Current because of hole diffusion and hole drift. Current because of electron diffusion and electron drift. If we combine all these four components, overall net current is zero. So this is we are discussing a particular case of equilibrium. That's why we are mentioned here. These four components combine to give zero net current for the equilibrium case. However, application of the bias to the junction increases some of the current components with respect to others, which give the overall net current flow. So this is about the uh, basic understanding uh, of uh, what is P-N junction and how the holes and the electrons diffuse as well as drift within this. Now in the uh, next lecture we will understand when we combine this P and uh, P material and N type material, the step materials, and make a junction and how that contact potential is formed. Thank you.